verdad que sí que, que por suerte hasta ahora no están yendo las cosas bien, que estamos contentos de, de cómo nos van las cosas, aunque todavía queda mucho. Girls, welcome to the Adidas Tango League event in Barcelona, where today we are, of course, joined by Lionel Messi. And by the way, we even got to meet the man briefly before the event kicked off, which is obviously insane. Anyways, it's going to be a crazy event, and most importantly, we're going to hear more from the greatest of all time, Lionel Messi. A big part of this specific Tango League event was the reveal of the new colorway for Messi's signature boots. And if you've always wondered what the most important thing for Messi is when changing boots, here's what he had to say. Que no cambien tanto a la anterior, ¿no? Que sea más o menos parecida a lo que vengo usando anteriormente, ¿no? Por el tema de, de la comodidad. Creo que para para nosotros lo fundamental es, es sentirnos bien con lo que con lo que usamos, sentirla cómodo. A veces lo que hacen lo, la bota buscan mucha diferencia, muchas cosas para hacer la, la bota más, más visible, pero nosotros lo que queremos es comodidad a la hora de jugar, nada más. ¿Participas en el proceso de diseño de tu propio calzado, además de los temas técnicos de las botas? La verdad que sí, porque como dije recién, lo que pretendo y me gustaría siempre es estar cómodo con lo que uso y por eso eh, me involucro en lo que en lo que hacen para, para intentar de, de juntos hacerlo lo mejor posible. So, Lionel Messi is of course one of the most awarded footballers of all time. Obviously today we are here with all of his five Ballon d'Ors. But interestingly enough, according to Messi himself, these amazing awards don't really mean that much to him. Bueno, ya lo dije muchas veces, ¿no? La verdad que no es mi objetivo los premios individuales, ni ese, ni la bota, ni ninguno. Los objetivos nuestros es intentar de, de conseguir todo lo que jugamos. Como dije antes, gracias a Dios estamos muy en camino y, y ojalá terminemos de la mejor manera. So, ahead of this season, FC Barcelona got a brand new head coach, Ernesto Valverde. And although many times managers might spend months driving their philosophy to a new set of players, Valverde seems to have picked up the pace quite well. As of February 2018, Barcelona are top of the table in La Liga, getting ready for the Copa del Rey final and are still competing in the Champions League. Bueno, la verdad que de la llegada de, del nuevo técnico fue muy claro desde el principio lo que él pretendía del equipo y creo que nosotros nos adaptamos rápido a lo que pedía, que no era muy diferente de lo que, de lo que veníamos haciendo, creo que como decís vos nos hicimos, nos hicimos fuerte defensivamente y ahora habla de, de atacar, tenemos jugadores de mucha calidad y, y que resuelven partidos. So, apart from bringing in some new players, Valverde's arrival also brought another change that directly affected Messi, as the new manager has occasionally started Messi on the bench. I know, it's pretty crazy, and before this season it was pretty much unheard of. But the truth is that Messi is getting older, so perhaps there is a need to give him some rest when needed. But as a player who's used to playing every single minute throughout his career, how does Messi feel about sitting out some of the matches on the bench? normal y con tranquilidad y sí, obviamente que él, él es el que decide, él es el que toma las decisiones y, y bueno, justo lo hablamos y no hay ningún problema de cuando tenga o me toque eh, rotar como también lo hacen otros compañeros. Now, despite occasionally sitting on the bench, Messi still has a lot to play for, especially with the World Cup coming up this summer. Many people argue that Messi still needs to win the World Cup to seal his position as the greatest of all time. But what kind of future goals does a player like Messi set for himself? After all, he's already won almost everything there is to win. <laughs> lo que jugamos, que lo que pretendemos siempre. 
So guys and girls, that was Neil and Messi talking about football, talking about football boots, the Ballon d'Or, his future goals, all that good stuff. And I truly hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I must say it's been an absolute honor being here today. And if you guys want to see more episodes like this one, make sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking the green bubble somewhere on the screen. We have made more awesome videos with football players and you can watch them by clicking the videos down below on your screen. And with those words, I'm out.